Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be unto you. This is Jeff Foundation. Have you ever imagined how the house of God should look like? I mean, the church. Have you ever find yourself in a state where you get tired because of people's character in the church? Sometimes you conclude that those that are not going to church are better than these church goers. In all this, where have you placed yourself? Descent? In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly the church of God is and what you should expect. Because when expectation is not met, offense is inevitable. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, the Jews were having issues with the Gentiles, that they should also go through circumcision. Then, in verse 19 to 20, James now said, Wherefore, my sentence is, that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols, and from fornication, and from things strangled, and from blood. This means that we shouldn't trouble these people that have come to God. Let them come the way they are. We should be teaching them what is obtainable, what they should do and that they shouldn't uh, do. Here tells us that the house of God is for the Jews and the Gentiles. This means all kinds of people are expected in the church. We expect everyone in the church to be like angels. Church of Jesus Christ is not for the angels but human. The house of God is like hospital that have different kind of patient with different kind of sickness. Why in the hospital some get healed while some died with their sickness. Some come to church and be saved while some will not be saved. The Jews want the Gentiles to look like them. Which means you want everyone to be like you, that is not possible. Because the Bible said that God dealeth with every man according to their belief. The house of God is for everyone, both the good and the bad. This also applies to the parable that Jesus tells in the book of Matthew 13 verse 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tithes among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tithes also. And the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didn't not thou sow good seed in thy feet? From whence then had it taste? He said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, We doubt then that we go and gather them up. But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tithes, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tithes, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my balm. This also is applicable to you and I trying to change people in the church. The Bible said that the kingdom of heaven is likened unto this that some have good seed why definitely there will be ties in it. When you try to remove the ties from the good seed, why yet is not the time of harvest, you might also spoil the good seed. Then he urged us to allow all to grow together. For there we come to a time where the ties will be burned and the good seed will be in the balm of the master. So therefore, 
do that which you know that is good do that which you know that pleases god these are two kinds of believers the good and the bad yet they all find themselves in the same church but you who fear the name of god keep on doing that because there is a reward for everything here on earth a time will come where the ties will be separated from the good seed. So, which one are you? So, my beloved, don't be discouraged by people's behavior. Don't allow my action to stop you from going to church. Don't be discouraged by these day's pastors, elders, apostles, or whosoever. Because on the last day, everyone will stand before his maker to give account of his life. Notice that the house of God is like a family. In every family, there are different characters. When you know this, it helps you to tolerate one another. In every house, there are different vexels, some to honor while some to dishonor. Which one are you? God bless you for watching. I pray that this message yield good fruit into our life. And may this message never be a weakness against us on the last day. God bless you.